most of all computer users need to make a screenshot at some point, either of a website or of an application. The usual way to make a screenshot is to push the print button within the Windows operating system. But this is also very time consuming because that's not it. Okay, first you push the print button. That's what I did right now. Then you open Photoshop or your Paint program. Then you push the buttons string plus V. And there you go. There you have your screenshot. But after that you have to save your screenshot. So you see you have a lot of steps in order to make a screenshot. There's also an easier way when you use a certain software. I'm going to show you this freeware software which is called Hoversnap. You can download Hoversnap at their website which is hoverdesk.net slash freeware dot htm. At the bottom of the website you will find the download link and there you can download this software and you can install it. Okay, I installed the software and I have a link on the Windows desktop and I opened right now Hoversnap. And this is how Hoversnap is going to look like. You see we have the possibility to make a full screen screenshot or an active window screenshot or a custom area. And a custom area is very comfortable because then you can choose how big your screenshot is going to be. Then you can choose the format. You have the JPEG format, the PNG format, the BMP and the GIF format. It's also very convenient that you can choose the folder where the screenshot is going to end up. So at the moment I'm going to hide the software and I'm going to do a screenshot. Let's say I just want to do a screenshot of this logo. And this is very easy. This is going to be a custom screenshot, which means I have to push two buttons, the string button and the print button. Okay, now you see that the cursor changed to a new icon. Now, now I'm going to push the left button on my mouse and I'm just going to drag. Okay, that's it. And then I let go and the screenshot is done. That's all it needs to take. And here you see the screenshot. Saved as an JPEG image.